Welcome back to another Roundhouse Daily Video Challenge. Today, we're going on a side quest. We're going to look at our utility buildings. Now, I know many of you are just joining us for these daily videos in October about building our roundhouse, but if you go back on our channel just a little bit, we were actually making videos about the house several months ago, talking about our designs and our plans, and in this case, utilities. So why are we even thinking about utilities at this point? Well, some of those utilities are going to need to go uh, under the wall, and so before we start laying earth bags, we want to put in another one of those metal sleeves, or maybe two of them, depending on everything that needs to run in there. Uh, but we just have to start thinking about this now, so that we don't run into an issue later where we can't get the water into the house without like drilling through the wall or the power or something like that. So rough plan: we'll have solar panels on our roof, but then as we go down, we are going to have a powerhouse here and a pump house here. And so you can see we're going to have the solar wires running back down into here where they'll go through the charge controller and charge the batteries. And then uh, the AC power that's being made by the inverters here are going to go back into the house. And then also we'll have the pump house that's connected to the big water tank. And that's going to pump the water back into the house here. Back in the house, we have this utility room plan. So the, the AC power will come in and go to an electrical box and then go out to all the outlets and stuff. And same thing with the water. The water is going to come in here and then go through our PEX home run to all the different places it needs to go. But this part right here, this point where those things come underneath the wall and into the utility room need to be protected. All right, so let's see if we can figure out where this utility house is gonna go and then where it's gonna go under the earth bag wall so we can prep that area. Okay, based on my measurements, this is the utility room. The electrical shed and the water pump house shed are gonna be across the driveway next to that willow. So we gotta figure out the exact spot we want those utilities to come up into this room. Um, and then we'll have to dig through this pile of dirt and figure out the depth that we wanna go. Next step is to see if we can get a 12 by 12 building in this area. Might be a little tight, so we might have to make it smaller, but we're gonna try 12 first. Three tape measures, that's all it took to get it square. We interrupt this video for a very important announcement. We are still doing the Super Adobe Workshop November 11th through 17th here on our property. We still have spots available. Yep, we still are going to build a dome from the bottom all the way to the top in one week. We still are going to cook delicious food and have lots of fun. And we still want you to come. Yeah, so make sure you sign up at this link below and we'll see you there. Oh, so close. <laughs> I almost got it over the finish line. <laughs> it's good enough. Uh, okay. I say we leave it. All right. <laughs> okay, so Ashley and I spent a bunch of time rechecking measurements and all the walls and made sure that where I measured the utility room to be was actually in the right spot. Turns out it was, believe it or not. I'm pretty impressed with myself. So we decided what we're going to do is have the electric and the water come in on the, we'll call it the north wall. And in order to reduce turns in the stuff going underground, we're going to go at an angle uh, through the wall. So I'll show you real quick. There's the room. We're going to have everything come up so that it all mounts to that wall. And then we're going to come through this whole pile at an angle 
and then it's going to go over to the utility rooms over there. Now the tricky part is whatever is going underground from those sheds is going to be at least two feet down for electrical. But then this is raised up like three feet. I really don't want to dig down three feet and then down another two feet and have this huge gaping hole here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay at two feet and then when I get to this area I'm going to come gradually up and then go underneath the bag. So I'm still going to dig out under the gravel a little bit and then as it comes into that room we'll do long sweeps because we're coming out from underneath that metal tubing that we're going to put in there. I think it's going to work. I'm going to start digging. We'll see how it goes. Well, the soft stuff was nice while it lasted. Back to the pickaxe. We planned it. Oh, wait. One for water, one for electrical. Water. And electrical. Okay, okay. okay. And ah. And electrical. Okay, here's something else we need to do. Hold on. So we want to know exactly where the bag is going to be. I believe it's 32 feet. So the bag is going to go the inside of the bag should be at 32 feet. So that should work. We have just thrown some tape on these because we're not gonna use this for quite a while. And I don't want them to get filled with all of the material we're gonna be using. So we're gonna tape them up, put them back into place, cover them over. And then one day in the very far future, we will run utility lines through. All right, we did it. We still have water in all the plumbing. We're gonna let it sit overnight. And if there's no leaks, which doesn't look like there are, then that means we could start filling around all the plumbing tomorrow, which is so exciting because I'm so tired of this huge pit in the middle of the house. Sound good? See you tomorrow.